Well, with old man Cedric been able to sell that milk stool for a bucket full of money, I thought I'd use this week's handyman corner to show you how you can make a fortune from some of them priceless heirlooms you got sitting in your credenza or maybe lying at the bottom of a nearby ravine. <laughs> You'd be amazed at what you can dig up, literally. I found this old oil lamp and uh, this bear trap and this old red cart here, all of which I'd be willing to part with if the price was right. Like, say, more than zero. <laughs> what I need, though, is something that's going to catch the eye of passing tourists. Something that's subtle and tasteful and can be seen for miles around, even in the bad weather. So we're going to build ourselves a real fancy city-style rotating sign using these window boxes and this old bed frame. Now, the first thing you're going to need is some pieces of pipe. Now, uh, what I've ended up doing is actually taking these pieces of pipe right out of the system, but it doesn't matter. We got the water turned off most of the time of the year around here anyhow. Unless, uh, well, you don't suppose these are gas pipes. <laughs> Hard to tell with our water. <laughs> oh, well, we'll find out eventually. All right, now what you want to do is uh, drill a hole in each end of your window box. And you want to thread the pipe down through like an axle. Now, to attach to your axle and make it spin, you're going to need a, a four of them pulleys with a cable to run around them. Not as hard to find as you might think. <laughs> a couple of clotheslines and you're there. All right, now you want to attach the pulleys to your pipes and you want to attach the end of the pipes to the bed frame. Now, I would recommend that you weld them on there for strength and safety. Of course, the handyman secret weapon, duct tape, works good, too. <laughs> All right, now what you want to do is uh, put the bed up on its side. Put the pulleys on top. Oh, I forgot to put the pulleys on. I'll get that later. <laughs> you know what else uh, you can do is cut to pieces of plywood or cardboard or what have you and attach them on so you close off the open side. Then you got four different signs that you can make, but uh, I'm happy enough with the three-sided version. I'll tell you what, the drivers will be so amazed they'll veer off into the ditch and then you can charge them for a service call. <laughs> All right, let's paint. <laughs> or you can use a felt-tip marker. <laughs> I got my pulleys attached, I got my clothesline threaded all through, and I got all my signs painted on. So now when you want to display your different signs, you just pull on the ends of the clothesline. Hell yeah, it's like drawing flies to a ship. <laughs> ah, there's your oil lamp. There's your bear trap. There's your red cart. There we go. So remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. And remember about truth in advertising. <laughs>Hey, I'm doing this from my hotel room on the road, but it was too important to, uh, to wait for it. We've got this great Father's Day package now where you get uh, three different things. Let's start with the koozie. we got a koozie, you know, that you put around the drinks so, so your hand doesn't freeze off while you're having 78 beers in a row. And the beauty of ours, on the one side, it's got the Possum Lodge crest, and on the other side, it's got a little saying that says, uh, I'm somebody's dad and they're okay with it. That's what it's the Father's Day theme. And the beauty of it is it's foldable. You can put it in your pocket and you can walk around with it. Nobody, no, no one, an officer, no one would know you how to put it. That doesn't, the second thing is uh, we have uh, instructions on how to make a duct tape tie. You want to order that far enough in ahead that what you can do is make make a tie for your dad. And we include uh, the lapel pin, which you can use as, as a tie tack. So that's something you can do. And then the third thing is a letter from me and you to your dad. What you do is you just sign it. I've already signed it. You just sign it. For Fold it up and put it inside uh, the Father's Day card. And, and if you're too cheap to buy a Father's Day card, just put it inside an envelope. And if you're too cheap to buy an envelope, you're probably not going to buy this Father's Day package anyway. Anyway, check it out. I think it's pretty good. And I uh, hope you and your dad enjoy it.